after all this time. Finally, I have them all. Wait a second. Oh my god. Wrong video. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Wrong video. <laughs> Let's over to the computer, shall we? Hello, so I know in the Skullgirls Marie video I said I was gonna talk about Abba. I'm tweaking that a little bit. I'm still gonna talk about her, don't worry, don't worry. But I'm gonna talk about two other characters too. I was thinking it would be more interesting to talk about a couple more characters than just Abba. So I figured, hey, let's talk about some recent DLC characters. The recent characters that I'm gonna be talking about are from Grand Blue Fantasy and Tekken 8. And obviously Abba at the end. But hey, I'll get started, and it's Grand Blue time with Vayne. Now, bring it on! Vayne was released recently, and he's really easy to play. He only has five skill moves and two arts. His moves include Wild Beat, where he just thrusts his spear, Arm Destruction, he swings his axe up, Energy Destruction, he swings it around, but he can also do it in the air, and one for all, he summons a shield that blocks projectiles for one hit. And he has a chargeable move called Breakthrough, where he smashes his axe down. So yeah, he doesn't have that many moves compared to 2B or even Bezelbub, but at least he's pretty fair and easy to play though. And here are his supers. Oh jeez, I'm gonna mess up these names so bad. Lowayan being jogged? And Osbrotschlag? Oh Jesus, what demon did I summon? And those were his supers. I think he's not top tier, but at least he's got a tool against owners, so I'm happy with that. And he's got a green outfit that reminds me of Broly so much. I mean, they even have the same hair color. That is awesome! <laughs> Score one for Vayne! So that's about it with Vayne. I'm gonna talk about the next DLC character now. And here he is! Now, let's talk about Eddie Gordo. Look, he's in the menu now! So Eddie is a mainstay character in the Tekken franchise. He first appeared in Tekken 3, and this dude has got the moves. When I saw Eddie was coming to Tekken 8, I was excited about it. And now that he's playable, I have a lot of fun with him. The only bad thing with Eddie is the thing he brought with him. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, microtransactions. First time. With that aside, Eddie is really fun to play with, and I'm happy he's here. Since every Tekken character has a billion moves, I'm just gonna talk about his gimmick. King, I'm so sorry I keep using you for these examples. It's just to prove a point. No hate towards you. You're my favorite after all. I still love you. Never forget that. So Eddie has two main moves at his disposal they can follow up attacks with. So I'm not gonna say these names because I'm gonna really screw it up. But here's his first move, called this, where he does a handstand, and he has a second stance called this, where he crouches really low. It's really cool that if you sidestep in either stance, he switches to the other one. Eddie also has his gimmick called this, I'm gonna screw up the name again, where if you do certain attacks, this green aura comes up, allowing you two more attacks, but you have to do his handstand move first. So and Eddie has a cool rage art. And here's his heat smash. So long story short, I really like playing Eddie. I'm really glad he's here. He's a lot of fun. He's actually pretty simple and I'm glad he's back. I'm still a little bit annoyed about the microtransactions. I'm not gonna let it tarnish Eddie. All right, so with that out of the way, it's time for the last DLC character. I said in the last video, I was gonna talk about her, so here it is. Abba 
やめなさいこの人ほらほらなんでこういう届けをえいこっち来た So, Abba is a homunculus, an artificial being like the Valentines, and she's from the Asuka game. The one with the big rare character named Leopoldin. She is my favorite Yandere, and she is obsessed with this key demon named Paracelsius. Come on! Fight me! Fight! Abba's gimmick is she has two states her normal one, where she's really slow, and her other one named Jealous Rage, where she becomes broken. And really fast. Also, the key looks like he's having a migraine. Most of her moves differ between which state she's in, also. Like, here's her low heavy slash in her normal state, and here it is in her jealous rage. Though, if you do main her, you gotta learn the differences between her moves and her state, so keep that in mind. So, how does Abba become jealous? Well, there are three ways. You can do her changing and swaying move, where she automatically goes into her state. But you need a certain amount to do so. Her bonding and dissolving move is where you can combo into it and transition. And the last one is if you input her key is Kang Super in her normal state, she'll transition after it's done. Also, most of her moves fill up the rage meter, so keep that in mind. Basically, all you do with Abba is combo into Jealous Rage and mash buttons. Like, whenever Jealous Rage is available, just mash buttons. Whenever you switch to Jealous Rage, Dasuke is literally giving you permission to be broken in. No, don't do it! I'm a virgin! Now, let me show you her supers. They also change between which state she's in. Here's the law is key, the key is king in her normal state. And here it is in her jealous rage state. And here's Keeper of the Key in her normal state. And here it is in her jealous state. Now, when Abba came into Stripe, she brought some new stuff with her, but not like Eddie Gordo. I'm sorry, man, they done you dirty. When Abba was released, there was a new stage called Fallen Prayer in Golf Lives. It looks really nice. Also, Milia got a new move called Artemis that basically lets her dodge low attacks, and you really can't combo into it then. Oh, and if you're wondering, here's her reaction when Foss hits her with a wheelchair. <laughs> Since Abba is a Guilty Gear character, she has her own song, and it's called Symphony. Damn! I guess me and Abba have more in common than I thought. I will say this, it's another great song for Dasuke. Like, I like listening to it every once in a while. I wonder what Dasuke is cooking for Slayer, though. He did tease us with that, so I'm looking forward to May, though. And so that was Vayne, Eddie, and Abba. And these are really nice additions to each of their own games. I'm sorry I have not been posting anything for like a while now. And that is mainly due to Helldivers 2. Like, I'm so addicted to that game. It's just, that's just all I want to play now. Especially since I got all the good stuff too. Like, I have the exosuit now. And also, I started watching One Piece. Like, two weeks ago, I started watching it with my friend Forms. And we're on, like, episode 70 already. In like two weeks. I don't even know how I could do that. But I am enjoying One Piece though. And Helldivers too. Funny enough. I used to be on the One Piece hate train. But now I'm like. It's not that bad actually. Especially since I started watching other anime too. I'm like. Okay the humor I kind of like it now. Like. I'm thinking about making a One Piece video sometime in the future. Not about the games particularly. More about my experience with it. That's what I like to do. I know I promised a Xenoblade. 
I know I said I'll make a Xenoblade video, but oh, uh, and that's another thing. I I have a job, a I have a full time job, so I so I can't spend all day editing and recording and whatnot. It's just yeah, I'm sorry. It's just I get burnt out from it. Oh, but I am sorry. So hey, that's all I gotta say about these three DLC characters. I know I'm very late. <laughs> I know I'm very late talking about these characters, but better late than never. <laughs> I don't know. I'll keep brainstorming some ideas, keep and keep editing some stuff. Um, I got some things in mind, but it'll take time. Yeah, we're just yeah. We're, let's just spread some democracy and hell divers too, and just have a nice time. You know, for Super Earth. Well, that's all I gotta say, guys. I hope you have a nice day and take care. See ya, and have a nice day.